Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one and only Silo Man coming to you from a launch control facility of a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile site outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Please, for the next 13 minutes, just sit back and relax, and I'll take you through some of the photographs that have been taken in the work that we have done on this site over the last 20 years. What you can see in the picture right now is that we've completed nearly all of the backfilling, and which is nice at this point with the heavy rains. During the summer, we get the monsoons, and you can see that all of that ground is settling very, very well. This was one of the original doors to the entryway. And you can see there that it's settling in quite nicely, by the way. Again, further back in the prior pictures you've seen where we've exposed part of the uh, upper level of that control center. Here's looking down in the water pit. You can see some of the water there from the tanks uh, that used to be there, the 92,000 gallons. Looking over at the entryway, you can see the tower in the background. And again, different pictures of that, that open area. That concrete piece there, as you may recall, is part of the culminator site tube. And there's the cooling tower pad. And there's some of the lines that we've cut off and we're gonna go ahead and, and flush those lines and then bring them up to the, closer to the surface. We're doing some of the exterior dirt work around the entryway. Where the door sitting on is the comm manhole. There's the UHF antenna base. Now we've sleeved those lines to the upper level of the control center. That would be the air intake shaft. See it there. We just make it easier when we want to run things underground. And there we're backfilling that particular area. As you can see the top of the escape shaft. background is the manifold for what would have been the water tanks. There's part of the tipsy wiring that was used. You can see where we brought up some of those four inch lines coming off the comm manhole. There's coming around the upper level of the LCC. Where our lines that we brought up. And we're just starting to backfill around. Here we're bringing up some other lines from a different area of the Launch Control Center on the southern side. We're going to go ahead and cut those and keep them about a foot and a half, two feet below surface. There's part of the air exa ex exhaust shaft to the silo. Again, looking at it closer. That shaft goes down about 25 feet, and then there's a tunnel that leads off to the right. And it goes to two giant blast valves. You'll be seeing them in a few minutes. And one of the reasons we have the water there is that we're going to flush the... There's a four-foot pit. There was what was originally a, what they called a logic panel. There's some of the original steel grating. And of course, we're cleaning it out, and we're gonna flush it. In fact, I'm down there, and what I'm doing is I'm loading this, this portable container that then is hoisted up by the backhoe, and then dumped. You can see it's pretty mucky. 
That goes down about four feet. The tunnel is where I'm standing in, as you can see right there. And this is the air intake side. So those are the big blast valves that were originally designed that if the, if the site seismically feels um, the detonation of a nuclear weapon or the flash of the nuclear weapon, there was equipment designed that would shut these blast valves down, allow the radiation to pass, and then they would open back up again automatically. Looking, looking from the bottom up. And there's the, uh, the fill and vent shaft. It goes down nearly 60 feet. And of course it was originally designed that that's where they would bring in the trucks for the liquid oxygen, the gaseous uh, nitrogen, the liquid nitrogen, uh, the helium. All of the fuel side of it, the finely distilled kerosene, which they called RP-1, Rocket Propellant 1, was on the opposite side. You can see the silo doors there. You can see where we're just starting to move that. There was the old uh, cooling tower pad where we're going to start storing some of this stuff for the time being. The air washers there in the background. And we've just put some temporary grating over the top of that so nobody would fall in it. In this photograph, we're working on, on re-welding uh, the sewer vent that was bent. Uh, when the dozers came in to remove the dirt around those the original water tanks there, they bent the sewer vent. So we're down there cutting off the bend piece and, and putting in a, welding in a straight piece. This is the sewer manhole. You may recall that uh, we talked about uh, with the four inch steel line coming out of the top of the stairwell. It goes over to there and from there gravity takes over and it goes to the septic tank. Again, the, looking from the fill and vent shaft onto the silo. And some of the pieces. We'll be welding that piece on. It will become the new top of the sewer vent. And here, uh, as we said, to the eastern side of the entryway, we're sleeving those lines. The cooling tower pad. And the hill of dirt that we're just starting to move on. This was the original road that went back that they would pull the missile all the way up because the Atlas F was a little over 80 feet tall. Then they would back up and there would be a giant cherry picker that would come over and hook onto the Atlas F. They would open the doors of course and bring up the launch platform and the cherry picker would literally just pick up the and rotate the missile onto the launch platform. And you can see where we're welding the rest of that man top on. See the culminator sight pad in the background. We'll be cutting all that salt cedar out. There's the air exhaust shaft of the launch control center. And we're opening up some of the septic tanks. There's one septic tank. It's 1,800 gallons. It has two lids. That's the distribution box. We're going to go ahead and open those up. They've been sealed for a number of years. You can see in the background to the right, that was the water treatment facility pad. And here we've opened it up and you can look down into some of the septic tanks and this is the distribution box that needs to be cleaned out. And that's the sewer manhole. And we're doing the backfill now into the pit area. You can see we have a brush hog attached to the other Ford tractor. The 
leveling's gone out pretty well. We're going to be, be taking this out. This was the original casing for when they put down a test well. We're just simply flushing now water through the manhole itself. And we're going both ways, back towards the bottom of the stairwell and then on towards the septic tank. And we put the lids back on. Of course, we won't cement them in. And you can see the water flowing through the distribution lines. There's the air exhaust shaft. You'll notice right there to the right, that's a pretty, that's a, an electric jackhammer that, that I'm using to break up this concrete. Also, we pulled the concrete off the top of the fill and vent shaft. And you can see it slowly but surely we're moving into the, the giant pit area where we're backfilling. You can see the hill of dirt in the background. And those were the original three posts that we found that where the missile would be backed up into. First it would drive forward and then it would back up onto the silo. This is looking down in the comm manhole. Originally it had a small pit, you may recall it seeing it full of water, we flushed it, pumped it all out. There's the top of the HF antenna silo. We'll be breaking that concrete up and opening it up. And that's looking down into the top of the antenna silo. You can see since they've sealed it up there was a little bit of water in the bottom of it and look at the rust that's occurred. And originally that retractable antenna sat in the square area and it was suspended on springs for the shock mounting in case of a nearby a, a nuclear attack. And again where we're breaking up that concrete. And again, thank you ladies and gentlemen. I hope you subscribe. Uh, please hit that bell for new updates. And if you like it, uh, if you like this video, please uh, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Any questions? Again, let me know them in the comments area. And thank you.